kind of to my surprise, to be honest, Tesla is planning on a huge amount of battery production at its factory in Germany. Here are the details. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the electric Viking Tesla. They're planning on eight gigawatt hours of battery production at their factory in Germany by 2027. So the question is, why are they going to manufacture batteries in Germany? Is it more expensive to do that than in what it is in China? Yes, it's much more expensive. Tesla has officially confirmed a significant expansion of its battery production capabilities in Europe, says Not A Tesla App. According to Andre Thierig, Senior Director of Manufacturing at Giga, Giga Berlin, which is Tesla's factory in Germany, Tesla will invest around 100 million euros to ramp up battery cell production at the German factory. The goal is to reach an annual capacity of eight gigawatt hours per year by 2027. Sorry, this is what Andre actually said on social media. Today, we informed our great cell team that we will invest close to 100 million euros to enable eight gigawatt hours of battery cell production starting in 2027. Vertical integration at its best from cell to vehicle in one factory, unprecedented in Europe. The future is great. So that's an interesting idea, isn't it? Vertical integration, making the cells in the same factory as the cars. Currently, Giga Berlin produces the Model Y, but relies on imported battery cells. Most of those are from China, from CATL, or LG Chem. Of course, LG Chem is a South Korean company, but they manufacture uh, their cylindrical cells for Tesla in China. By finally bringing cell production on site, Tesla wants to strengthen supply chain resilience and further reduce dependence on external logistics. But still, like I said, yes, it's more expensive to manufacture battery cells in Germany, a lot more expensive. And while the 100 million euros is significant, a Reuters report clarifies that this is part of a bigger picture. The fresh injection of capital takes Tesla's total investment in local cell production to nearly 1 billion euros. That's like 1.2 billion US dollars that Tesla has spent on manufacturing batteries in Europe. Tesla's official statement to Reuters also included a note of caution regarding the European industrial climate. We know, right, that at least 50,000 jobs have been lost in the automotive industry this year in Germany alone, right? Massive job losses. Reuters noted that while the goal is full localization for Tesla, in international competition with China in the USA, it is currently hardly possible to produce cells economically in Europe. Despite these economic headwinds, the commitment to eight gigawatt hours suggests Tesla is playing the long game in Berlin, ensuring that, it, that its only European gigafactory remains self-sufficient. So if Tesla is making these batteries and Reuters says it's much more expensive to do this in Germany than it is in China, and obviously uh, they aren't wrong, why? Why are Tesla actually doing this? And I guess the other question is, what batteries are they actually making there? Well, for those of you who don't know, Tesla is manufacturing its next generation 4680 cylindrical battery cells. These are the tabless batteries, the cylindrical cells that they first unveiled at the battery day uh, many years ago. They measure 46 millimeters in diameter and 80 millimeters in height. They're similar batteries to what BMW are using for all of their next generation new class EVs. They use dry cathode technology. A key part of the investment is the implementation of the dry electrode manufacturing process. And this removes the need for massive energy intensive dry ovens used in traditional battery production, massively reducing the factory's footprint and energy consumption. Now that said, the dry electrode process didn't quite go to plan. Uh, they, they do half, about half of the process is dry electrode and half of it is still the wet process. Structural battery packs are another factor here though, guys. These 4680 cells are designed to be integrated directly into the car's chassis. The structural battery pack is made to kind of the right dimensions for these cells. Instead of the battery being a heavy box carried by the car, it becomes a structural component that kind of links the front and rear single piece giga castings, making the car lighter and stiffer. If the car's lighter and stiffer, it's cheaper for Tesla to manufacture and it's more efficient, gets more range based on the amount of battery cells you put into it. So while ramping up their own 4680 cells, Giga Berlin currently uses a mix of imported cells. They use LFP, lithium ion phosphate, from BYD and CATL, but I think they're just using CATL now for the standard range models. And they use NCM, nickel cobalt manganese cells from LG Chem for their longer range variants. That includes 
the new six seat three row Model Y L that will be manufactured at their factory in Germany within the next few months. So the question still is, why manufacture them in Germany? Well, despite Tesla's own admission that it is hardly possible to produce cells economically in Europe compared to the US due to the Inflation Reduction Act subsidies, which are now gone, or China, there are three critical reasons for this move. One, supply chain resilience. Currently, Giga Berlin is at the mercy of international logistics, shipping cells from China and Austin, Texas. Producing cells on site insulates the factory from global shipping crises and geopolitical trade tensions. So that's one of the reasons. The second is total vertical integration. By making the cells where they build the cars, Tesla achieves cell to vehicle manufacturing. This streamlines the assembly process, reduces the carbon footprint of transport and allows for tighter quality control. Now, I haven't told you the main reason yet, and I'll get to that in a second. Three, the machine that builds the machine. Tesla views Giga Berlin as a laboratory for its most advanced manufacturing techniques. It has uh, purchased a robot automation company a couple of years ago in Germany, one of the biggest in the world. So Tesla views Giga Berlin as a laboratory for its advanced manufacturing techniques. Reaching eight gigawatt hours by 2027 is a long game. And it's a play to prove that high automated dry electro production can eventually compete with low cost labor markets. That's the key phrase here. BYD, if you look at how they produce batteries, a lot of human labor is used, a lot. It's actually more than what you'd think. Tesla's idea here is that where they're producing these batteries, eventually there'll be no, almost no humans involved. So they'll reduce really the main cost that they're facing in Europe, which is the human labor cost. The Tesla are obviously thinking by 2027, 2028, we'll have robots that replace humans on the production, on the factory line, like what CATL is doing today. I just did a video yesterday. CATL has removed um, a pretty large percentage of the humans working on their battery production lines. They now have robots that are doing that job and doing a better job at it. So Tesla's thinking along the same lines here. Yes, it's kind of expensive to make them today in Germany, but it won't be when we get rid of the human component. And of course, that rely that you know, is a situation where Tesla needs to, they need their Tesla bot to be able to get on the production lines and start replacing humans in the production lines for them to be able to make these batteries economically to compete with China. But Tesla's thinking here is eventually they'll have dark factories. Giga Berlin could end up becoming a dark factory where humans are very involved at a very limited level and they're able to turn the lights off and robots just go about their work. Sounds crazy, but um, I think that's what Tesla actually plan on happening. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.